Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome to my channel, my Chanel. <laughs> Today I am bringing you some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, inexpensive and just in time for fall. Shall we take a look at my t-shirt? <laughs> Influencer. E -e -e -e. I love this tea so much. All right, so these eyeshadow palettes, I'm not going to be, I don't want to be repetitive. I'm bringing them to you because they are some of my favorites. And the reasons why they are my favorites are because of their formulation, their blendability, their pigmentation is just amazing. I love them. And to top it off, they're affordable. They're inexpensive as shit and they are perfect for fall and everyday looks. So I want to make this video short and sweet. So let's hop to it. Okay, so I'm starting with my favorite palette of all time. And you would tell because of the color. Okay. Look at the color of it. It's the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. This palette is the greatest palette of all time. Does anyone else do this? Leave the this over this. I've had this palette for more than a year and this is still with me. I don't know, but anyway. So look at this. This is a dream, a dream palette. The colors are amazing. You can create a bomb ass beat with this. You can do an everyday look. You can do, um, smoky eye you can do anything on the bronzy side it's just a great palette i find it's very fall friendly as well because you see those sort of orangey yellow tones and you have all these greens and stuff to the bottom it's a bomber's palette these are palettes i also reach for a lot uh, to use on clients as a makeup artist if you didn't know i am the link will be in my description box i am also a nail tech great plugin <laughs> i have here the morphe 39a palette look at this look at this this is like fall right there all these greens and blues and the oranges and the coppers and the burgundy great transition colors you can even use some of these colors here for like contour you can use some of them for your blush palettes like these are like steals because this is like 39 dollars and you have like, like i think 39 shadows in here like you cannot go wrong with this palette you know and they're also i find some of them could be very beginner friendly because um, as a beginner i would never recommend you use you go for for color in in your shadows and stuff like try to keep it more neutral and natural and work your way up to adding color to your to your um to your eyes and it will work perfect for you the next two palettes i'm going to be speaking about are from sheila and ColourPop. both her palettes proceeded caution and the perception palette this is what they look like so again you can get a bomb ass beat you can do something very very um, extravagant dramatic and you still can create something that is more on the soft and neutral side there are pops of colors in there if you want to I love the size of this palette for those of us who travel a lot and slim they're compact you can travel with these two palettes and don't have to be worried about anything you can because you can create any look from these palettes and paired with a different lip or whatever the case might be but these are just amazing I use these palettes when I just do not know what look i want to create and i want to stay in my comfort zone so i have the jacqueline hill and morphe from the vault collection armed and gorgeous and this is what it looks like tell me where can you go wrong for fall with this palette perfect copper and orange tones the yellow tones the green the gold I really use these two colors to like highlight on my cheek this gold is like a perfect dupe in in terms of color um to fenty's beauty trophy wife <laughs> trust me because i have this gold i've never i never got the trophy wife because it's so gold and you could use your your shadows for highlights so i usually use these two as a highlight it's compact it's small it's flat you can throw this in your bag to create looks however i don't find this palette to be as versatile as the sheila and ColourPop collection i feel like there are limited looks that you can do with this but you still can get a couple of looks from this if you know what i mean oh ColourPop Orange Glad and Just My Luck palettes. They did this whole monochromatic um, collection palette. Um, I had, do have a couple of them, but these two tend to be my favorite ones, especially for the fall. <laughs> this is what it looks like, green and orange. I still feel like you can create a lot of looks from these palettes. You can use one color and throw it all over your lid with the eyeliner. You can use multiple colors. You can do cut creases. You can do a uh, halo eyes, like whatever it is. But I still find you can get a lot of looks with these palettes and they are just good um, for the fall. You can also use it as like companion palettes, like maybe choose a color from here to pair with another color from the other palettes that I show you, whatever palettes you might have in your collection. I find them great as um, used as that as well. So there we have it 
this is a newer release palette and i just recently did a couple looks on it using this palette so check it out i will link that video in my description box and my eye cards also i might have it in the comment section as well so check it out click the link to see the looks that i created with this palette it's the cutting light and colourpop so jaded palette this is colourpop's first large palette you get 30 eyeshadows in here i was on a break from eyeshadow palettes i'm like you know what let me just wait until i see something that catches my eyes and when i tell you i saw when she spoke about this palette i was like oh my god i bought it the day it launched i love the way the colors are organized in this palette i feel like i've never seen a palette with with the range of colors something about it is just unique i feel like i've never seen a palette with an arrangement of colors like that like of course again you can create a simple look an everyday look a bomb ass look dramatic look whatever look you're going for and this is a palette that i would definitely pack alone if i'm traveling and be comfortable because we have great transition shades in here you have anything if you want to do anything you have colors so if you want to do something smoky if you want to do something with a little bit of color like the look i'm wearing today i did that look as well like it's versatile in my opinion and i love it and it's great for fall because of the tones the greens the blues the mustards it's there's nothing left to say about this palette and if you don't have it get it <laughs> oh, oh. I will list all the shadows that I spoke about in the description box in case you want to check it out. I will also leave the links to all my social media platforms. Follow me on there and see my work. I am a nail tech and a working makeup artist out here in Brooklyn. The link to how to book me will also be in the description box. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps and I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> Hi, if you're new here, my name is Rachel. Thank you so much for watching. Let's continue to touch the world one face at a time and I'll see you in my next tutorial next week. Mwah. <laughs>